YouTube, my name is Maureen, and welcome to Reen Reads. Ooh. I've had quite the hiatus, so I do apologize for anybody who's been continuously watching these videos. Um, I did a TBR for the book two was on, and my first day was phenomenal, and then it just was like... <laughs> I don't know, it was a pretty terrible week, so the book tube it's on didn't really work out, but I did do, uh, I did finish one book on the book tube con, which I had been putting off for quite a while, so I was pretty, I'm pretty glad that I read this, um, there's like a label on it that I just want to rip off, but I read In the Shadows of Blackbirds by Kat Winters, um, and this I read to fulfill a book with pictures. Um, because this does have pictures, uh, kind of like how uh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children had old photos that kind of, you know, they found these old photos and it happened to tie into the novel and the story. Um, just to put this out there, I saw this on Reagan's channel. Reagan, if you don't know, is Peru's project project Bruce project so I will tag her below just because she is so darling and so cute and Reagan if you do see this I hope your shoulder is feeling better um because you rocked your haul your 20 minute haul with like one arm um I happen to buy this used on Amazon and I managed to get like a treat with this because I was like going through everything I managed to get a signed copy Believe it or not, it's signed to Andrew, so whatever. I really don't care, but it says to Andrew, warmest wishes, Cat Winters. So I just thought that was pretty baller. I was like, oh my god, it's signed. How cool. Um, <laughs> but pretty much this story follows, oh, I can't remember her name. Her name is Mary Shelley. That's it. Her name is Mary Shelley. That is um, her first and middle name. Um, so she's clearly named after the author Frankenstein. She ends up moving to her aunt's house in San Francisco during, I believe it's World War One, where there was a crazy um, pandemic, I'd want to say, of Spanish influenza that's like attacking the West Coast attacking the entire United States. So these people are covering themselves, like burying themselves in onions. Um but <laughs> that's another thing. That's I guess another video. But she meets this young man or she has always talked to this young man. I cannot flip and remember his name. I just suck. I can't remember his name at all. Oh my lord. Can't remember his name at all, but he is in uh, the Army or the Marines. He's in some kind of uh, United States military. And this man's brother is like catching spirits in these photos, and that's kind of phenomenon that's happening here. Um, this book was being, because I don't read much YA, I'll be completely honest with you, but I am starting to read a whole lot more. This book would definitely, I feel like would change anybody's opinion on YA. Um, the characters were extremely well developed, especially Mary Shelley. I feel like she definitely goes through a giant change within the book becoming a young girl to a woman and just realizing her potential and just she's just fabulous um she's just really a fabulous character um the plot had so many points of interest uh especially if you're into historical type fiction and magical realism um Definitely had the magical realism ghost aspect. Definitely covered the, you know, the pains and throes of war with men getting injured um, and coming home battered and broken. Um, definitely women just at that time period trying to become something so much like what they deserve to be, which is 
you know, equal. It's just, there are so many points of interest to this novel that, you know, I feel like there would be a little bit of something for everyone. It's pretty much put it that way. Um, the setting, um, it does, it is set in San Diego in the early 1900s. So that's very interesting. I felt like it, the, the writing very much put you into that time period. Um, it just, I feel like you, and this is going to sound really corny, but when I was reading the book, I was like picturing in my head, obviously the, the series of events, and I was picturing them in black and white, which I never do. I just, it's not something I do, but with this book I did, because it just, it's one of those things that lifts you up out of this world and puts you in another. It's just simply put. Um, would I recommend this book? Most definitely. Um, I would recommend it to anyone who enjoys historical fiction, YA, magical realism, YA. Um, also, um, books, you know, if you enjoy books with a strong feminist, or not feminist, but a strong female character, she is a little bit of a feminist, which is completely okay, um, but she is definitely a strong female character as well. Um, page wise, this came in at about, I know it was a little longer than I expected at first. Um, total it's 387, so definitely what I would consider over average. With the text, if you get the hardbound edition, I'm not sure if there is a paperback, but the text is like huge and there's like giant spacing, so. That's always helpful. And the chapters were very, they weren't very long. So if you do tend to break up your reading by chapters, it's very easy to follow along that way. So I think that's about it. I would definitely recommend this book. You guys should go check it out. It's absolutely phenomenal. And also go check out Regan's channel below and show her some love too. So that's about it, guys. So you do. Till we meet again.